Justin. Go ahead and have a seat. All right, Justin, what do you want to accomplish by being in high school orchestra? I want to be the best cello player I can be. Fantastic. You can go ahead and start your piece now. That's enough. Uh, Justin, you are aware uh, Phil 2 is for beginners. Uh, why don't we try something different? Do you know how to play cello suite number one in G? I don't know if I know how to do that. I, I don't know if I can. Just try. So, how did the audition go today? I'm sorry, what? The audition, how did it go today? He did amazing, of course. Well, I would expect nothing less. I'm very proud of you. But that's only the first step. Now you need to be the best in the class. So after you finish your dinner, go straight to your room and start practicing. But, Mom, there's still a month before school starts. I mean, all of the other students will still be on You aren't going to be like all of the other students. Yes, ma'am. We'll go study right now. Thank you for dinner. Hey, you know you can move your bishop over there and it'll take out that knight. Yes, but that would open up my queen and I don't want to put her into jeopardy. Why does the queen matter? Just take the knight and let the queen die. The queen is the most important Guys, piece. Guys, get back to your seats. Oh. I should get to my seat. Bye. Bye. Um, by the way, my name is Grace. Name is Justin. Oh, look, who finally brought the chess pieces. Cut me some slack, man. I've been busy with orchestra. Dude, you literally eat, sleep, and breathe orchestra. I mean, you can even relax. It's supposed to be the best four years of our lives. I can't relax. My parents keep pushing me to get first chair in orchestra. Come on, man. It's literally just a chair. I can walk into orchestra, pull up a chair, and say, hey, I'm first chair. I mean, you barely even smile in orchestra. You smile on everything besides. Kind of look like a bump in the log when we're in there. Forget it, Isaac. My parents appreciate my talent for the cello. They just don't understand that I want to do other things that aren't orchestra. Well, maybe they'll see how you play chess and rethink their decisions. Yeah, maybe. I mean, legitimately, you be the next Gary Kasparov. Come on, man. I'm much better than Gary Kasparov. Anyway, White's first. So, I noticed you haven't really been yourself lately. Is everything okay? How can I tell my parents that I don't want to be in orchestra anymore? Have you tried talking to them? I can't talk to them. All they'll listen to is my grades and orchestra. I mean, maybe you should quit. That would be really dramatic, but maybe then they'd finally see that you don't like orchestra anymore. I can't quit. If I quit, they'll just force me to do it more. You can't let your parents dictate what you do with your life. I mean, think of it like you're writing a paper. You can write it with a pen or a pencil. With a pen, you can only scratch out your mistakes before you move on. With a pencil, you can always erase them. Your life is the paper and you are the writer. How you choose to write your story is your decision. Nobody else can do that for you. Thank you, Grace. I, I think I understand. I feel much more sure about my future now. I'm always here for you, no matter what you need. So what happened out there? I thought you knew the piece better than that. What do you want me to do? They already posted the ranking. I want you to play it again for them. 
I can't. You don't understand. I got fourth chair just- I will call your teacher and make her let you redo it. No, Mom. I've had enough of this. I've had enough of you. We want better for you. I thought you loved playing the show. I did. But when you forced me to play it for three years, I you hated really it. You're going to make a living at chess. This isn't about chess. This is about my life. You paved my life for me. I want to live my own life, not yours. You I have so much potential. Why I'm not you. Do this you. To us? I am Justin. I'm not you. I'm not your son. Justin. you should quit orchestra. I mean, that would be really dramatic, but maybe then they'd finally see that you don't like it anymore. I can't quit. If I quit, they'll just force me to do it more. You can't let your parents dictate what you do with your life. Think of it like you're writing a paper. You can write it with a pen, or with a pencil. With a pen, you can only scratch out your mistakes. With pencil, you can always erase them.